Hey, this is Jacob and I'll be your guide around better mode. In this video, I'm going to cover access and permissions. So without any further ado, let's jump in. There are two levels to permissioning in better mode. You have the community level and you have the space level. Let's check out the community level first. To access the community level permissioning, we can click on our profile picture, go to administration and then select settings. On the community settings tab, we can scroll down until we see permissions. Here, there are three options. We can select if we want to have a private community. If private community is enabled, you will need a member account to access the community. The next is invite only. This means you can only be invited to the community and you will not see a sign out button if you're a logged out member. The third option is anybody can invite. And this just means that anybody in the community can invite somebody else to join the community. When you're happy with your community level permissioning, you can just click update to save the settings. Now let's go to the space level permissionings. To do this, we can go back to home, we can go to any space, we can press C to go to the customization area, and then we can go to the settings cog for that space. In the first tab, we can just scroll down to the bottom and you can see we have the same three options, make private, make invite only, and anyone can invite. Now, if I enable make private, you will also notice that hide space also becomes an option. This allows you to have hidden spaces that only space members can see. To everybody else in the community, they won't know these spaces exist. If you have a space that is private and is also only invite only, members will be able to request to join it if they're not currently a member. These requests will go through to the moderation panel. And if you don't know how to access the moderation panel, I will show you in just a minute. And the last option is anyone can invite. So now let's go and take a quick look at the moderation panel. I'm gonna go back to my community homepage. I'm gonna click on my profile picture and I'm going to select moderation. From here, you'll see that I have four tabs, pending posts, reported posts, pending members, reported members. If members request to join a private space, they'll show up here in pending members. Now let's talk about community access. To find our access settings, let's click on our profile picture, go to administration, settings, and then authentication. Here you'll find all your various login methods that you can use in your community. By default, email and password will be your first choice for entering the community. We also have various social logins that you can activate so your members can authenticate via those social logins, such as Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Discord, and Slack. We also have three different forms of SSO. We have JWT SSO, SAML SSO, and OAuth 2 SSO. Now, if you choose to use one of these three forms of SSO, there'll be some extra options that you'll have to configure on your side to connect it to your own login system. You can find all of those details in our developer documentation. Well, that's everything that you need to know about access and permissions in better modes. In the next video, we're going to talk about managing notifications. I'll see you again in the next video.